Here we go. Let's get it lined up again. Just love this airplane. Nice big wheels. And I have the floats, guys. We'll be getting the floats uh, on it, and Steve and I will go out and do a do a demo of it on the floats for everybody. It's a monster at the float flying field, man. Don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful flying plane, nice and smooth. Not bad for a maiden flight, I tell you. It really, uh, it really does its thing here. All right, let's go one setting of flaps. Touch and go in this direction. I'm gonna yank it around. Land it this way. Oh yeah, you gotta like that. It does that nice. Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have a plane I've been waiting for for a long time. This is the version 2 FMS 2000 millimeter de Havilland Beaver. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it already on my channel, I do have the older version of the plane flying on floats at Joe Nall on the grass and it's just an awesome flying airplane. We have not flown this. This is going to be the first time we have it out here. Um, Steve and I are going to uh, put some links at the bottom where you guys can uh, links to the video. And also, be sure to check out the unboxing video I did of this. It's pretty detailed. I go into a lot of stuff probably that I'm not going to cover here, but I'm going to try to show you, um, you know, what this thing, the features of it and the new things. The biggest thing you notice really is the windows. Uh, they did a lot of uh, improvement because everybody asked for windows and we've now got a really nice plastic molded window with a cockpit and canopy and then uh, here let me snap this back on real quick it's got a nice latch and then on the sides the coolest thing in fact I'm gonna flip it upside down Steve so you can see it better with the Sun is look at these windows look how nice these things are they put a nice bubbled uh, window here so you know observers and things got on what they exactly used it for but probably you can see out the window better for eyeballing but it's just really nice uh, the detail uh, that they put into this uh, uh, the landing gear is pretty tough to assemble this thing you guys have seen the unboxing or if you go to see it you'll see all the parts but to assemble this thing I do talk about that a little bit there's four screws right here on the top of the wing here there's four screws for the tail with a spar going through both of them uh, four screws for the tail uh, there is a spar running through there and a pass through for the elevator to connect the two halves like a square kind of a torque tube thing and then the rudder or the vertical goes on with one screw here and one screw there and uh, that's really it for the major construction. The wing struts do go on. They're already attached here. You have, Steve, I don't know if you can get in on that, the R-clip. Those are meant for quick disconnect, so you can just pull those out. It's basically like a cotter pin, essentially. Can you see that all right? Yep. And then uh, then you got your uh, your landing gear, essentially. Your landing gear is pretty, pretty tough. It's pretty magnum. Three screws here go on. You have three extra screws here for the floats, for the rear mount. We'll get those on there. And there's a little connection right here. Uh, for your float for your water rudder be sure to check these screws right here this one And this one these are nylon lock nuts make sure the lock to make sure that the uh, <coughs> The machine screw does engage the nylon part because you don't want a wheel coming off I saw another group do that where the wheel came off and landing trying to land this without a wheel and this metal spike You're probably gonna tear this whole thing off. So make sure those are tight, but otherwise this thing is uh is pretty darn awesome with the new paint job and everything. Uh, it's a nice slow flyer, but it's also a rocket fast airplane. Um, a couple other small features it does have. Steve's gonna try to remind me if I forget all this stuff, but there's a little clip here that's or a little notch that's intended for a, uh, uh, to, to be able to tow a banner or, or something if you want to. Um, I thought there was an electric motor they had for this some time ago with a release for like a tow glider release, but um, I haven't seen that around. I'm not sure if that's something they're still doing. And then these antennas are real nice. These actually clip onto the spar. The nice thing about that is you can remove them, stick them in the cockpit for transport, and, uh, and uh, it's a nice scale detail that you don't have to tear off the airplane. Um, you've got landing lights. You've got um, wingtip lights. You've got a light in the tail. We'll see those hopefully when it's flying. Uh, we've got a pedo tube that you just glue right on there and then we've got these little Vortex generators right here help generate some airflow uh, Over the ailerons to make it a real nice slow speed flying airplane um, But just awesome folks big landing gear big wheels on the airplane nice tough gear and uh, with that Steve let me plug this in so we could show folks 
<coughs> a few features. This is the first flight out on this guy, so I've got it dialed in pretty much the way I had the other one. I got my kill switch on. Let me just do a quick throttle check here. It's running good. Kill switch is good. And I'll put the canopy back on. We're starting off, and a couple things I want to show you. I don't know if you can get in on this, Steve, or not. But the flaps. The flaps on this thing are real nice. They actually have a, a slot running through here. When you put them all the way down, you actually have air passing through there, which makes them really high lift. Um, same thing with the ailerons. The ailerons are actually slotted too. There's a nice hole through there. And you can really, and that allows the air to flow under the wing, go up and through that slot, and help, just helps circulate airflow over the surfaces a lot better. And you can really see that feature when you're looking under here. You can see, can you get in line okay, Steve? Yeah. You yeah. can see the off-center hinges here for uh, your ailerons, how they have a slot running through that. That just makes this thing super, super high lift for when you're at slow flight. Uh, and it just, uh, it's just an awesome way to make flaps. Uh, there's the simula simulated corrugation on this, <coughs> which is the thing full-scale airplanes use to make the metal uh, a little bit tougher. So you've got hatches that are glued on. The reason for that for your ailerons and your, uh, your, uh, and your uh, flaps is because uh, this is meant to be a float plane. So you're going to fly it on water. You want to keep water out of the servo. So they're just contact cemented in place and uh, they come off real nicely. So um, I'm going to start off with my elevator in this hole. Steve, I don't know if you can see that in there. We're gonna we're gonna put it in that hole, see how it behaves, and then we'll make adjustments as necessary. But otherwise, uh, I think we're pretty much uh, good to go. You like the color? Yep, looks good. I tell you what, the black one looked really sinister. I like the way it looked, but the red is better for sunlight because the, as we all know, black paint is a little. It tends to bubble a little bit if you're in direct sunlight. Uh, so you want to try and keep your uh, your plane out of that if you can't out of the sunlight if you get the dark one. Let me run it up here, Steve. Tons of power. They went down to a 60 amp speed controller in the new one because it really doesn't need all that. I think this plane unloads real well. And then uh, let me show you the telemetry. Can you zoom on that? Yep. Okay, the 75 amps right that you see right there, that's how much we've drawn out of a uh, 6L. And it is a 6L powered airplane. I've got a uh, 6L 5000 uh, Predator pack in there. And uh, this is it, first flight out guys. Let's see what we got. Let's do a quick control check. Right aileron, left aileron. I'm going to go to mid rates on everything because I have a high aileron, a high, a medium, and a low. So those are our settings. I'll, in fact, I'll start with the mid. Same thing with the elevator. Elevator's got a high, medium, and a low. So we'll start medium on everything. Mediums I have set for 100% travel. So uh, Steve, take a step forward and we'll taxi it on out here. Let's see how this works out. Nice big tires for grass. A little bit windy, but not too bad. Here we go. A little bit windy, but not too bad. A little bit, yeah. You see the windsock out there okay? Yep. All right, here we go. Take it off! See what we do here. Rolling down the run. Tail comes off nice and smooth. I'm about half throttle here. Yeah, it lifts right off. I don't even, I'm not even trimming it or anything. Look at that. Nice and straight. Yeah, we may have to adjust that elevator, but it's good for now. It maneuvers well. That's medium rate, 100% travel, so that's good. Let's bring it by here slow. Slow and clean. I got the power off. I'm just going to put a little bit in now. I think I got an ant on my foot. <laughs> nice and low and slow. Let's power up. I'm going to go straight up with it. That's the thing I like about this airplane. It's a powerhouse. Look at that vertical and it's going. Tons of power with this airplane. All right, let's try out the flap deal. Let's see. I don't remember. I think I have a little mixing in this thing. Let's put a little bit of flaps in. We'll go full flaps and see if it's ballooning up. Now, I think I got that set up right. I think I had 5% for of elevator to flap mixing for the first setting. I think I had 10% for the next, so there you go, that's full flaps. That's what those slotted flaps help you do is get nice and slow, nice and slow. Power up, look at that, flaps coming up, just pointed up there, and it just goes and goes. It's still climbing. I'm going to power it back, just let it tail slide. I mean, it's a scale plane, folks, and you can fly at scale all day long. 
but if you really want power and speed it also has that so it's just a fun very high performance plane to fly all right now i'm at high speed i'm going to trim it nose down a little bit more there we go let's bring it by the other way quick it even sounds good remember steve when we put two of these motors on the tiger cat <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's oh, just yeah. an awesome airplane. I love this thing. It flies so nicely. Touch and go out of it there. A little high speed on one wheel. Yeah, let me let it slow down. I just got the power off. There we go. I'm going to drive it on back here real quick. Honestly, Steve, I think it's set up right. The wind's gusting a little bit. I'm going to try not to nose it up. You can really see those. Can you see those landing lights? Man, those are awesome. Look at those things shining. I don't know if they'll show up on the film all that well or on the video. Yeah, could be good. yeah, let's see. Yeah, they might, uh, they may not be able to be seen on camera just because of the refresh rate and all that stuff with their frames and stuff. All right, full flap takeoff. You ready? Here we go. Flaps are coming down. Ten feet. Yeah. <laughs> And I was being easy on it because it is a new plane. This is the first flight, so I'm trying not to go too crazy with it. Amy, I'm going to bring it by slow for you. Why don't you get in front of me? And I'm going to try and keep it slow so maybe you can get some good shots of it here. I've got the power off, but I'm adding just a touch here. Just trying to get it nice and slow. Slow as I can get it. Look at that. With full flaps, it just crawls. Look at that. aerobatic Ooh, yeah all right I'm gonna go to high aileron rate and kind of mess with it in the roll see how it rolls with full aileron full throttle very nice let's loop it around here Steve tell you what I think 100% travel on everything is real nice let me go back down to a low elevator and see how that's like it's even good with that I think I have 70% on my low elevator rate with the hole that you saw that I had Just an awesome plane. Tons and tons of power. Back on it, drop the flaps, high speed. It just, it's got some drag to it. It'll slow down to a crawl. Look at that. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Just trying to keep it on those main wheels. Awesome. Look at that. All right, Amy, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come straight at you and see if we got Amy filming her with, uh, she's got the camera. Try and get some shots. Zoom as tight as you can on this airplane. I'm going to have it come straight at us, pretty much. Can you get a picture from there, you think? Go ahead, snap them. All right, just awesome, awesome plane. All right, let's bring it back the other way. Again, this is not something that the full-scale plane does, but, you know, it flies inverted really nice. Let's do an opposite direction landing, which is going to be a little hot. I'll do with one setting of flaps, though. Let's try that. Power's off. I'm moving with the wind, so the ground speed's very high here. Uh, just to do an opposite direction. Kind of a fast touch because the wind's picked up quite a bit. I don't want to do too much of that. But again, that's how I used to practice before I would fly a jet model or something. Just to get the ground speed up and get used to the high, high touchdown on the ground speed there. So here, let me see if I can bring this down here out front. Let's touch down with it. All right, I'm going to get a couple landings out of that, it looks like. So let's see. We let it stop. Yeah, it just wants to fly forever. Let's see. Uh, how's the telemetry looking right there? May I see? Can you can you focus on that? Yep. 1872. So yep. let's go a little more with it. I mean, it's got lots of lots of go. In fact, let's just take off from where we're at. All kinds of power. And in fact, Steve, I'm going to give you some steep turns out front around the wind sock here. Steep turns around the sock. 
Now my curiosity, Steve and I were talking about this before, was is by putting those windows in, you uh, you do probably weaken the fuselage just a little bit because there's not as much foam there anymore below that wing. But I told Steve I wanted to test it out and really yank on it and see if it had any problems. And uh, I think they might have put some spar in there to make up for it. I gotta watch out, there is a fence over there. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit low. <laughs> this is a beaver. I know there's gonna be guys some commenting, that's a scale plane, it doesn't do all that stuff. And then, yeah, well, I'm just testing it out, guys. Just really kind of running it through as hard as I can do it. That's usually what I do. Just to see if it'll handle all these rough things. So you can feel confident if you're flying at scale, it, you won't have any problem with it. It's just a nice model. Oh my lord. I love the new color. Wow. Power's off. Just going for a touch and go out of it. And I'll turn it around. Drop the flaps. Nose it down. See if we can do a slow touch and go out front. Come in with a little power. Eh, a little harder than I wanted. Yeah, you got to get this thing nice and slow. Oh, let me correct here. All right, take it off. There we go. It'll get up and go, baby. I can't wait to get this on floats. I just, when we had the black one on floats, like at Nall, we did a really good demo that was killer. I mean, it's just awesome. All right, let me get full flaps. You know what? I'm going to go partial flaps with it. Let me see if I can get a smooth touch and go out of it here. Come in with a little power. Still not as smooth as I want. Let's try that again. Okay, well, let me do a hammerhead at the end. Stall turn at the end. Here we go. Going up. Kick the rudder around. There we go. Nice. Full flaps. That'll help pitch it up a little bit. God, it slows down. It, it, it just generates a lot of drag with those flaps. Okay, it'll get into a little bounce. All right, let's drive it around a little bit here. Nice model. We are at 3,000 on the amp draw. Here we go. Let's get it lined up again. Just love this airplane. Nice big wheels. And I have the floats, guys. We'll be getting the floats uh, on it, and Steve and I will go out and do a, do a demo of it on the floats for everybody. It's a monster at the float flying field, man. Don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful flying plane, nice and smooth. Not bad for a maiden flight, I tell you, it really, uh, it really does its thing here. All right, let's go one setting of flaps. Touch and go in this direction. I'm gonna yank it around. Land it this way. that nice power up. We're going to turn this way. We're going to yank it in this direction on the downwind. We'll keep the speed up a little bit more going this way. Yank it the other way. And bring it right down here. This is how you practice landings and get better at it because you got to be on the ball when you're doing it this way. Yeah, that wasn't such a good touchdown. There we go. Yeah, one wheels. I'm on one wheel. No. All right, let's go. I've seen that take off before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just flying the uh, Ranger and Steve uh, Steve did a dancing takeoff, but he saved it. I'm having a hard time not bouncing this. What's my... Uh... All right, I'm at 3,700. I'm going to take off and do a greaser from the other side. You ready? We're almost <laughs> done with the battery here. All right, let's do this with full flaps. Once you drop those full flaps, man, the drag comes in. Let's see if I can do it. What do we got? Okay. All right, guys. Uh, Steve, uh, the battery died. <laughs> so he put another one in. I'm just going to do one more, one or two more touch and goes with it. And then we'll bring it on in. 20 minutes of filming, it'll work better. Yeah, I know. I just, we should have looked at it sooner. I wasn't really paying attention. 
I'm just trying to do a full flap, nice and slow, really smooth. All right, I'll take that. Throw the flaps up and it'll come down. All right, back to the Aziz. Well, that's what happens when your camera battery dies. That's still better than the airplane battery dying. So uh, anyway, guys, really sweet airplane overall. Uh, and uh, I just love the way it handles. That was the first flight, maiden flight on the airplane. A couple things I'm going to show. Uh, I want Steve to take a look at here. Let's pull this uh, out of here. I'm going to show you guys the battery area. We got right to 3,900 actually 4,000 on the pack there for that whole flight um, there's a little time there delayed where we cut but but guys we just continued right for where I landed right after the battery died there uh, on the camera and we uh, we just spliced it right there so there's no time difference in that whole thing or the time is the same uh, that's what I was using 5,000 Predator 45 C pack and if I can get in there and get some some daylight on that battery compartment I want everybody to see what I did with it stock battery compartment didn't do anything to it except I went ahead and put uh, my shelf liner down there with double-sided scotch tape and ran it to the ends of the to both the maximum width of the uh, of the straps and that'll keep your battery in there without any velcro so but that's it otherwise stock battery compartment you can see I got my receiver right there just using a, a Hobby King receiver one antenna vertical over there one I ran I don't know if you get that Steve I ran it right on that edge there with some tape so they're 90 degrees to each other that really helps uh, prevent against this uh, uh, <coughs> pre prevent against a potential signal loss but anyway guys overall really really nice airplane guys uh, check out the links below the video we'll have links where you guys can uh, see more information where to get this thing be sure to check out the unboxing video guys because I do have a lot of information in that unboxing video and I'll put that at the end so uh, hey Steve thanks for filming guys thanks for watching RC Informer there's more to come and uh, we'll see you guys next time